March marks Women's History Month, and just recently a tri-state woman made her mark in the River City. This morning, I explain in this week's Hometown Hero Series. She's the face behind much of Evansville's drinking water with the power to protect what we consume. Brenna Gaudel recently filled the role as superintendent of the filtration plant. So what that entails is chemical additions, uh, bringing water in, doing filtration process with it, cleaning it up, getting it out, and then we also have a bunch of booster stations and uh, water towers throughout the system that we're monitoring. Overall, the plan supplies water to more than 200,000 customers. I really get to use a big portion of my science brain here, and then, but also I have a passion for helping, uh, helping my community have safe drinking water. But in accepting the job in January, little did Caudle know she was also making history. For the first time in over 100 years, a young woman is stepping into the role overseeing the daily operations. Before women were able to vote, we had this plant going. And, and so now being here and being a, a young woman, I have, to, I have to keep that in the forefront, right? Um, that I'm basically setting strides for others. And although this is a predominantly male field, there's about 16 women that work here in Evansville at both the water and wastewater plants. My work ethic and what I come in and do on a daily basis, I have to hold myself to a stronger, a higher standard um, so that others can come after me and, and do that work as well. And in doing so, she has a message for other women. There is a place for you. You can have a nice office job and then also go out and get dirty if you need to. Women are able to do all these multiple tasks each day. Um, so whatever you want to do, you, you are capable of doing it. Reporting in Evansville, Megan Garrett, 44 News.